everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back. As always, I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. Welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, got a new transformer in today. Well, not a new one. I'm letting me, somebody's letting me borrow it. Big shout out to uh, Justin, T2RX6. If you don't know who he is, he uh, co-hosts with me on Sharecast. He does reviews also. Really cool, really nice guy. And he sent me the Hot Soldiers uh, Mech Planet Warrior Hot Wars. Uh, this is the Prop Sky Pillar. This is Optimus Prime, Legends. Um, back then, I, I did the uh, comparisons of the DX9 and the Magic Square, and I asked if I could uh, borrow this real quick and do a, you know, a quick review on this guy, and then do a comparison with the uh, Magic Square and all that stuff. So, very cool. He let me borrow that. That's a cool box. I really like that. Got the kind of G1 feel to it. Got Prime on the back. You got some other products right there, Iron High and B, all that stuff. That's pretty cool. That's really neat. It's a very nice box, man. I love that. I like that historic little pose for Optimus Prime. So very cool. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. I don't have many times I can say very cool, but it's a, it's a nice box and everything. So let's open this puppy up and... Mm, mm, mm. Smells like Justin's house. Yes, it does. All right, I'm going to take this fellow out. I'll be right back. All right, here he is in his alt mode, as you can see. Very long and strong. Very nice. He will stay connected. That is pretty cool. So let's go over what it comes with real quick. Uh, it comes with a nice little card. Really nice thick stock. Very nice. So you can see all the stats and everything. If you want to pause for the calls for that. Yes, folks, he does come with some instructions, like they all do. Uh, he comes with a little roller, very nice. These uh, roll a little bit, very nice, a little tight. Now I just got some red little paint for the light, and uh, it's kind of boring, kind of just a, you know, a little couple of details in there, but it does roll a little bit, so that's pretty cool. This roller, he comes with two axes. One is the orange translucent, very nice, and he comes with a blue translucent one too, for some reason. So you got options, and that's always cool. He comes with a signature blaster. Uh, no paint, just some details. Very cool. Um, he comes with a matrix. He has a one in here, and I'll show you in a little bit. And he's got a, a translucent blue one also, for uh, whatever reason. And he comes with these two little Autobot symbols. Pretty cool. Uh, they don't have any way to stick on there, so you have to pay, put some glue or sticky tack or something or tape if you ever want to do it. And you can tape them on there, and that would be you know, looking pretty cool. So that is all of the accessories that it comes with. All right, just move these out of the way real quick. And like I said, we'll take a look at this. Very nice. Got some nice white right there and a the nice blue paint right there. And you got this all silver, nice shiny um, silver to it. You got some silver wheels also. It does roll just fine. We it will turn side to side, and that's good. So let's take that off. It's connected right there, and then there's uh, two little slots right down there. So very nice, nice connection. I like that. Uh, nothing, yeah, about red and yellow. I'm sorry, red and uh, gold or orange, or whatever. Uh, for God, I can't say it. Red and orange paint right there for the lights <clears throat> and that's about it for the paint you can put these out real quick and then you just sweep sweep these out and there you go all right take a look at prime very nice got some silver paint right there silver uh, kind of gunmetal for the uh, smokestacks some silver for the rims very nice uh, it looks like a gunmetal right there for the uh, grill and the lights and everything uh, no yellow right there it would be cool if they would have painted some yellow right there um, you can open up <clears throat> and he does have the other matrix I'm talking about and you just pop that out right there that's all silver and everything very nice matrix uh, got some like a kind of a aqua green maybe and then gold or copper for the matrix and everything silver so that's pretty cool close them up Nice uh, translucent kind of light blue for the windows. And on the other side, same side and all that stuff. And you do got the big ball joints gapping out right there. So, not too terrible of a uh, truck mode. You know, it's not too bad. Still got that gap. I think every uh, Legends class has that gap right there. But yeah, 
not too shabby. Not too shabby. You can look under there. So there you go. We'll open up the um, uh, the, the thing right here. These open up real quick. That's the window or the door. And then you got this part right here. So pretty cool. And inside, just all silver. <laughs> Some details in there. Stands out a little bit, but it would have been cool if they would have, you know, it's just kind of just boring like that and everything. You got that blue plastic right down here. And you got this little thing. Now this thing uh, comes apart, so you have to turn it around for it to close. It won't close properly if you turn it around like, like this. So you get this little thing. Now it does, uh, it doesn't roll. It's kind of, you know, you can use it as, you know, a little mobile whatever. But this thing right here, this look, kind of looks cheap to me, to be honest. I don't, not feeling this, but you can do all this stuff. Got some translucent orange. You got some gunmetal right here. And they go up and down and everything. You got the plastic, so. But, that's, um, and if you want to, you can close it up. I'll show you this. And you can have it sticking out right there. It'll close up properly. There's a little hole up uh, top whenever you close it right here. A little gap, you can fit it through there and you can do that if you want to. That's pretty cool. Another cool option. So yeah. There it is. And uh, there's the uh, you know trailer and everything. It's a long trailer. Pretty cool. Alright, you can drive up here. There you go. And you can roll, roll her up there. Like, you can put a huffer up here. Don't know if he'll close or not. We'll see. Uh, you can magic square. That might be too big. Yeah, that might be a little too big for him to uh, close up. You got a... Uh, I'm sorry, that was Iron Factory. My fault. This is magic square. That could fit. That would be really good. Everything. Uh, you got the little new age bumblebee. That will definitely fit. And you got a new age car also going up there. Ooh. That's pretty cool. So that will that will probably close too. I'll show you in a second. And you got the old style uh, Hasbro right there. That'll fit too. So pretty cool. Let me see. Will it? You put that. That. I'm sure it will close. Yeah, no issues right there. I don't know if Huffer will close or not. Yeah, it will. Very nice. And then we got Iron Factory. Eh, it will close up. That's pretty good. So I was wrong about that. It is hanging off on the side a little bit, but not too bad. So, you know, and I'm definitely know that one. Uh, Magic Square will definitely fit in there. So, really cool. You can put, uh, not, you can fit in two cars, maybe. Uh, no. Well, if you turn that around, but it won't close properly, like I said, uh, you might could fit. I definitely you could fit, definitely fit. You know that and all that stuff. So you can have fun. Do uh, you have options? And that is pretty cool. All right, we'll just throw in a uh, siege side swipe right there for comparisons, and we'll just throw in these. There's a magic or uh, a new age. Golly, Iron Factory. Some more stuff. Throw in a that square, and there's Bumblebee over there, and another Hasbro thing. So there you go. <laughs> there he is next to uh, Crapagonics, next to some Lip Balm and Carmex. All right, here is Hot Soldiers Optimus Prime in his um, robot mode. So take a look at his head sculpt. Not bad, you know. Not too terrible. We got some that's some white paint right there. And it looks like that might be some blue paint. Yeah. Some blue blue paint right there for his eyes. And you got a little white crest right there. Be careful with the uh little antennas as always. They're gonna be very thin plastic. So he can go move side to side. He can look down a little bit and up not much. And a little attitude also. Very nice. Moving on down to the chest, you've already seen all that it's front of the cab, so. He can move up all the way up to there. The smokestacks are, you know, on there, so they won't come off. You can do a little butterfly. Very nice. He does have a bicep swivel. 
and he has a eh, little bit well if you manipulate it enough you can get a 90 degree uh, elbow bend just this little flap right here which is a cool transformation it's uh, it cover you know you know it's a hole right there and then you cover it up like that it's pretty cool uh, this is unsightly you got the little side flap on there you know but that's not too bad I wish they would have painted that yellow right there uh, you can twist the hands and that's about it moving on down to the waist you got some nice yellow paint kind of an orange yellowish paint right there uh, you do have a waist swivel but it is ugly it leaves a big old gap when you if you go too far and it's kind of loose you know it's just on a little slider thing right there so you got the blue right there I think that might be painted now that's plastic so you can go uh, forward this don't move the little crotch doesn't move you can go back you got to manipulate a little bit and you go back all the way thigh swivel uh, these might be painted white they got a nice little uh, finish to them and everything um, not the full Van Damme just about up to there don't want to force it and you do like I said thigh swivel very nice uh, this ugly knee bend so you can do this right here and then if you want to give a little more you know, like that but you know right there it's a little tight one too so be careful then you got the wheel showing right here but you got you know, a little blockage right there with that and then that and your feet you can go down with the toe tilt uh, not much up but it does have a little rocker so pretty good and he's got a heel spur that's pretty cool and here's the back of it he does clean up really good that's awesome so there is hot soldiers prime all right there are some uh, dx9 some generation toys the optimus pin uh, high soldiers uh, sound wave and some other ones for a uh, scale there's some new age for you way too small I think <laughs> and there's magic square and some unique toys headmasters And there's some Iron Factory. And here he is holding his weapon, just fine. And here he is with his axe, it just goes over his hands. It's real simple. Crapagonics, Carmex, Lip Balm. And squeaks, doll. All right, final thoughts on the hot soldier sky pillar. This is our Ultra Prime. Pretty good. I like him. Uh, the alt mode, I really like. I love that long and strong trailer. The cab is decent. You know, it. You know, I don't like the little gap on the arms. You know, up on the top and everything, and then on on top with the ball joints and everything. But that's a little nitpick. Uh, most Legends Optimus Prime does that anyways. So that's pretty. You know, that's gonna be common. Uh, the uh, transformation is fun. I like the little part where you cover up. There's a hole right in his forearm. You cover that up. That's a pretty cool move for transformation and all that good stuff. So yeah, it's really fun. Uh, the sculpt. It's decent. I like it. You know, it's not what I'm looking for in a prime, but it's not terrible. You know, and all that stuff. And the engineering is really good. I didn't think I was going to break anything. You know, Justin's taking care of it, you know, real well. So, yeah, I, I think the engineering is really good. Uh, the paint, you know, not a whole lot of paint, you know, but they're usually getting a lot of paint on uh, Optimus Prime. But uh, it's, you know, it's decent. It's, you know, there's a lot of red on his, you know, arms and everything. I wish they would have painted those uh, little arrows down yellow or something like that to break up that. But, you know, where it's at is decent, and the head sculpt is, it's all right. It's fine. And uh, just be careful with the little antennas. You know, they're really, you know, thin plastic and everything. And articulation, you know, it's decent. You know, it's got a waist swivel, but it's really loose, and it's ugly, and the knee bend is really ugly, too. Uh, but you can get them in some decent poses. I like that. So, overall, 
Very nice. Uh, do I think it's good as Magic Square or the DX9 one? We'll see. Come back and I'm going to do a uh, versus uh, versus all those three. So it's going to be a good time and everything. So be on the lookout for that. All right. Well, I'm going to get on floor. I'm going to do some floor time. Why don't you join me and be my neighbor? All right. All right. All right. All right. So with Optimus Primes, you know the accessories you're going to get is the Matrix, his blaster, and the axe and everything because of that one scene. Uh, would you like to see other accessories come with Optimus Prime? I mean, off the top of my head, I really can't think of anything that would be cool to come with Prime. You know, he's going to have the trailer and roller and stuff and everything. But I wonder what else we could add on to uh, Prime to give him some more accessories. Because, you know, I got accessory. I mean, I got a Matrixes and everything and, and Axes and all that, you know, good stuff and everything. But it would be pretty cool if we could add another accessory for, uh, you know, Prime and everything. But Prime! And it is. That blue right there on his crotch, it is painted. I think I didn't. I think I said it wasn't, but... It is. Sam. Optimus! Why are you yelling all the time? You're just telling me where I'm at. Golly. Optimus! Stop yelling! <laughs> oh, do, 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 do. Man, all you did through the movies was yell. Pew, pew, pew. Get over there and sit in the corner. My goodness. <laughs> he did yell, or Bumblebee. Bumblebee! Like, why are you yelling? Sam, stop yelling. Golly. Anyways. <laughs> All right, well, that was my review over the Hot Soldiers Optimus Prime. I hope you liked it. Like I said, I'm going to do a versus uh, against the uh, Magic Square and the DX9 and see which one comes out on top and everything. So be on the lookout for that. Um, probably tomorrow. I may do that tomorrow also. All right, well, I hope you liked it. Like I said, go ahead and hit me some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down there and sub for me. It really helps out the channel. Hit that little bell and uh, hit me up some comments. Tell me what you think of this guy. Do y'all have him? Are you in on the Hot Soldiers? I don't think that we even have Hot Soldiers anymore. I think they went to Papa Toys or something. I don't know. Chuck will tell me about it in the comments probably if he watches it. So I guess I'll see you on the next uh, Optimus Prime Legends uh, review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro. And good night, folks. Optimus! Bah. Look at the clickety-clack-clack-clack.